Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my channel AVME. In today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to configure uh, your uh, Shure QLXD or other uh, series that are compatible with Shure Wireless Workbench. And uh, also I'm gonna show you how to configure it on Yamaha QL5. Uh, okay, so let's start with uh, workbench as long you have configured all your devices on the Dante network properly and uh, your uh, receivers uh, the uh, uh, QLX uh, ULX D uh, receivers or the series that are compatible with workbench they're configured properly on layer 2 of Dante network because Dante network works on layer 2 as long they're configured on the Dante network then you should be able to configure it uh, your ULX D 4Q series which is right here on the Dante network they're configured here then you should be able to configure it on your wireless workbench 6 if you are using on uh, using everything via Dante controller uh, now, uh, there is another way you can control it if you are not using Dante controller. Uh, but this is basically uh, configuring it via Dante controller. So once you have configured them on Dante controller, what you do is you need to find the model number of your transmitters. So the way to do that is just open up the transmitter uh, whether you have a handheld or uh, you got a lapel just open it up I'm gonna show you just one sec so open the transmitter and look for the model number as you can see mine is ULX D2 K51 so I've got four handhelds and about four lapels and I'll show you how to configure them. So you go back on uh, wireless workbench uh, application. What you do then is click on add new device and this window will appear right here. So then click on sure or if you've got any other phones that can, uh, I mean microphones. Uh, from any other manufacturer select that but for this demonstration I'm just showing you sure then go and select the series you have which is mine is ULX D 4 D uh, sorry ULX D 4 Q so select that and then the band I have is K51 right here so what I've done if you look here on my monitoring I have about eight radio microphones that are configured and I can see the battery status the RF uh, power if you see here the RF transmission and the audio uh, signal strength right here okay so and I can change a lot of settings from here like the gain and a lot of other stuff I can change from here so once you have added all that by going into add new device then it will appear in the monitoring section if you can see like right here I've got all the shore microphones here okay what you need to do is then in order to communicate with them is go to tools go to tools right here go to preferences and then this window will appear now go to network and from here select the network card that is connected with your Dante controller so I have selected this one right here and as I said Dante controller works on layer 2 so obviously you're gonna see this IP address here okay and that's all you need to do then you can start communicating with the device 
with all the uh, functions and stuff like frequency coordination and stuff you can do the scanning you can monitor the status of the devices of the transmitters like properties and look I'm just monitoring the status if I speak into it can you see the RF and AF levels okay so this is really useful now if you want to configure it on the Yamaha QL5 then you need to make sure that uh, you have version uh, firmware version v4.0 or v4.0.1 uh, at the moment with this desk I don't have that firmware the firmware version installed is uh, v3.11 uh, but I'll show you how to configure those devices so what you do is first step click on setup second is click on Dante setup and this window will appear right here then on here Dante setup just click on any empty space and as you can see on this number four device number four I've selected the ULX D 4Q so go to device list and from here all your Dante uh, devices that are on the Dante network would appear here so select that device and mount it to that rack so I've mounted both receivers here as you can see one and two next step is go to your device IO and click on wireless right here and your receiver would appear here now if I click on the receiver it says this function does not work yet because the desk QL5 desk is not uh, updated to version v4.0 uh, or v4.0.1 uh, but if it let's say if it's updated then I would be able to control the receivers change the settings and then I can see the battery status and stuff and it would also appear the battery status and RF and EF status right here as well for the radio microphones okay guys hope you have liked this short video and uh, if you have learned something from this video then please click on the like icon and uh, share the video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you and bye